I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm -hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew were holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. Not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out.
should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Blazkowicz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Orton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? responsible. Shortcut through this building.
can get across to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead train. Tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God. Is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss. Someone is putting up a fight.
Son, take my hand. You a preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses. I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Well, this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old timer friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawl, a cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! We've got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. You mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. Oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It weren't their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerest men in Marble Mansion. Well, I see you through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. Yeah, here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or we will lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy. You upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal. I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die, or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired of fight. Too tired. Let's fuck you. I got kids on the way, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it! Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wires, that about it. He's quick learning, Paris. Always figures out what's what. 
So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Nazis swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now
Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Fine. I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Keep doing what you're doing, Anya. If we're going down, we're going down fighting! Grace! We need evacuation now! mind you, but you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altamirts on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass! 